Hi guys, it's Dee and welcome to Dee's Yard. So I'm inside my shed right now because it is ridiculously windy outside and there is no way you're gonna hear me through all of this wind. But today I'm gonna be transplanting a hydrangea, a limelight hydrangea to be exact, that I planted last May. I believe it was the beginning of May. And while it was great this year, it's gonna quickly outgrow this space since they get around six to eight feet tall and wide. So I figured I'd take y'all along with me why I move this limelight and plant a Rose of Sharon in that space instead. So the absolute best time to transplant a hydrangea is after the plant has gone dormant, but before the ground freezes. This means that all the flowers have died back and all the leaves have dropped. So summer between late fall and winter is a great time. And it's best to wait for the plant to go dormant prior to transplanting. So that way the plant can send all its energy into root formation instead of supporting leaves. And while the best time to move a hydrangea is when dormant, you really can do it at any time as long as the proper care is given with water and pruning. The first step I like to start with is digging the hole in the new location. That way my plant being transplanted is not above ground for long waiting on its new home. And I'm just going to get the hole started with my trenching shovel and it does not need to be the exact size. The next step is to prune the plant if needed, especially larger shrubs. This takes stress off the plants and makes it more manageable to move. So when starting to dig the plant out, just remember the goal is to get as much of the root ball as possible. To do this, dig with a shovel pointed straight down around the circumference of the plant's canopy. You really don't want to angle the shovel too much because that ends up cutting off more roots closer to the crown of the plant. Also, try not to lift the plant a lot or knock off soil on the root ball because you want as much as the root system as possible. So once you get your plant out of the hole and if it's too heavy, a pro tip is to use a tarp and just drag it to its new location or you can use a garden cart. So once we get our hydrangea planted up in its new home, now we need to give a deep watering. And that's it. I'll check on this plant every few days just to ensure it's not completely dry, but I should not have to water this hydrangea until its first growing season with a consistent rainfall that I get in my area during the winter. Now, if you are not in an area that is receiving consistent rain, you wanna make sure to check on the plant after moving to ensure it's not drying out and supplement water when needed. So now that we have our hydrangea transplanted, I will come through with an organic fertilizer in late winter, so that'll be March for me, and then just keep checking it throughout the first two seasons after it's been moved to ensure it's having enough water. So now all I have to do today is just plant up this Rose of Sharon called Chiffon Lavender that I got on clearance. Are you guys surprised? And then I'm all done for the day. So thank you guys so much for watching me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.